नमस्ते एवरीवन वेलकम टू दिस चैनल ईआर डॉट पीडिया आई एम सागर बंजारे विथ योर ब्लेसिंग I come here with my new video about data entry form. Here we are going to learn to create fully automated data entry form with a database in Excel. And I haven't used any VBA code in this video. First I will show you how it works. Write the name of the person and select the gender, gender is male and address Pokhara and you can select the qualification here, the master. And previous stuff and write the email and phone number. When you click on this save button, the data will automatically save to the database. So, in order to go to the data database, you can click on this database button, it will navigate you to the database. The data is saved here in this database sheet. If you want to go to this form, click on this form. Even you can clear this the text box and the combo box by clicking on this clear button. So in this video you will learn to link the text box, the option button and the combo box to this and you will also learn the use of if functions, how to record macros and how to assign it and finally you will also learn to navigate the sheets in the Excel. So in order to learn all these things stay tuned with me. If you haven't subscribed my channel do subscribe it and click the bell icon so that you will get notified with the latest uploaded video. Now without any delay, let's get started. First, open the new Excel sheet. I'll press Ctrl and N to open the new sheet. This is my new sheet. And uh, here we use the macro. So we have to save our file in the macros enabled form. So go to the file and save. I'll keep the name book 11 and here you have to select it to the excel macro enable workbook and click on the save button and if you haven't any developer border, developer option in the ribbon so go to this file and here in this option you have to go to the quick access toolbar so in the customize ribbon check this developer options when you check this developer option and click on this ok it will show in this ribbon now first we will create the form for that click the cells and click on this margin center write the name data entry form and increase the size to 20 click on this bold and here increase up to 24 and change the background color to little bit darker this one darker 15 percent now select these two cells and click on this margin center now write here name now copy this cell and paste here one two we need six row so five one and this one is six and here type gender and here address write a qualification previous job and last one email or the phone number select this all sales and make them bold now we have to go to the developer and we'll insert the text box option button and the combo box click on this insert and we'll use activex control this one is the text box and here draw the text box and when you click on this properties you can change the font color also from here this one is the font uh, our font is in times new roman it's fine and to well regular it's okay and click on this up here and close this properties copy this text box and paste here in the address and even in the previous job and email and phone number and we need the radio button for the gender and the combo box for the qualification so click on this insert and this one is the combo box select this combo box and draw the combo box here now select all this text box and the combo box go to format and here in align click on align left now we need the option button for the gender go to the developer and insert 
this one is the option button enter the option button here change the name of the option button click on this properties here in the caption you can change the name and here we have to write the mail copy this and paste here and write here female close this properties now select this all and we'll create two buttons um, uh, in order to save our data and clear our data so go to the home and here in the button bottom border click the thick outside border select this all and change the background color to 5% darker we have to change this uh, option button background color in order to do that go to the developer it's in the design mode it must be in the design mode in order to change the background so click on this part and go to this properties here uh, we take the back style the transparent and in the same do the same things for the female this trans dot now close this properties now when you click on this insert there are form controls in the activex control so but here uh, the bottom is available in the both form control and the activex control but i use the i use save in order to create the button this is because in form control button i can assign macro but cannot change the background color and i want the background color to be different and in activex control button i have to write code in order to assign it so because of that uh, i am using the shape so that i could do the both i can even change the color and assign the macro in easiest way without writing any code so i have to go to the insert here click on the shape and i will select this rounded rectangle i'll reduce, reduce this size and write the name here shape copy this one go to home and increase the font size to 14 it selects times new roman done and make them make it bold and it changes the background color so in order to change the background color click on this format here uh, this one is the shape fill in shape fill i'll select this dark red and in the shape outline i'll select this black in shape effect in shadow and i'll select this Redu reduce the size my the shape button and in home make it center done copy this button and paste it and change this name to clear done now before linking the text box a combo box in the option button uh, to different cells uh, i will like to create the another sheet Uh, so change the name of the sheet right click here and rename is the data sheet and even uh, i want to change the uh, tab color to green and here change this name to form and tab color to red done now type your name gender address qualification previous of email or phone number increase the size even increase this size now copy this go to the data sheet and press control alt n v and select the values and click on this transpose click on the okay and increase the size select this and make them center click on this bold and change the background color to this one hello and the border color to all border here go to the form now we link the text box combo box and the radio bottom to the cell for that this one is my yan5s yes. this one is yan5 this uh, so go to the developer it must be in the design mode in the design mode so just like this and click on this property here in the linked cell type here which one is this one is yan5s yes. type here yan5 and for this address yan7 and previous job is yan9 email and phone number yan10 
and the qualification is yanet close this now of this design mode when you type your name it will automatically show in this yan5 and even for the qualification and i haven't add any qualifications i have to create the list uh, so that it will show in this yan8 now even you can delete this now we'll uh, make a list box for the qualifications uh, here we we create the list box so type here board high school bachelor a master and phd this one is the yal5 yal5 to yal9 so click on this design mode here uh, click on this qualification and go to this property and here in the list field range we have to type yal5 is to yal9 close this now of this design mode when you click on this arrow here you can say high school it will show in the qualification yes done now we will link the radio button uh, in order to link the radio button first on this design mode here click on this mail and click on this properties here in the link cell i'll type k5 this is because uh, when you link the option button it will show the true or false only uh, we have to give the if functions in order to write the mail so close this when you uh, close this design mode of this design mode when you click on this female it will show false when you click on the mail it will show true now we will add uh, if functions in this gender part so type here equals if this one is uh, if and this one is the k5 so when k5 equals true it will write male otherwise it will write female close this and enter this one is male. when it comes true it will be male and when it false it will be female we have linked it all now when you write all the name address previous sub and the email it will must be saved in the data sheet in order to do that first type the now in order to save it to the data sheet first we need to record our macros in order to do that you must be on this developer app here click on this record macro and give the macro name is save and click on this ok now our macro is started recording first copy this by pressing ctrl and c go to the data sheet here in the data sheet go to any top blank cell i'll go to this j and press ctrl and the down arrow now press ctrl and side arrow now ctrl and up arrow now you have to on use relative reference so that macros are recorded with actions click on this now only press down arrow now here we'll copy uh, uh, we'll paste our copied item so press ctrl alt and v now here you have to select this values and the transpose it click on this ok now go to home here select all border use right arrow and go to the blank cell go to this developer and off use relative differences now go to form and place the cursor in this first cell stop this recorded macro now we'll assign this macro to the save button so right click on this save button here here you will see the assign micro and here you have to select this save in place done we have recorded our macro now when we click on this save button it will automatically save our data to the data set now click this save go to the data set i have clicked two times it has been saved twice so when i click on this save go to the data set you can see the data has been saved. now we have to clear this all data before saving before moving on to the next data so for that we need to record our macro so now click on this record macro and give the name to the clear now click on this ok in order to clear that go to this first cells and press delete from the keyboard copy this po and click delete we won't delete this mail because we have used the if functions so if we delete this the if functions will get deleted so keep this constant now stop this recorded recording macro right click on this clear button here click on this assign macro and select this clear click on this ok now if you type if 
there is anything here when you click on this clear the data will be clear from the text boxes and the combo boxes now the only thing remaining is the designing of search button so that we can navigate from the one seat to the another seat for that now the only thing remaining is the designing of search button so that we can navigate from the one seat to the another seat for that go to the insert here select the shape right arrow and create the right arrow here and give the name the data seat select this all and in home increase the font size to 14 make it bold center go to the format here and save fill select blue and outline I'll select black and save effect shadow now right click on the shape and here click on this hyperlink place in this document and document select this data sheet and click on this ok Done. when you click on this data sheet it will navigate to the data sheet here i like to copy this one copy this and paste here in the form here in the format rotate it and change the name to form reduce this size right click on this and here edit hyperlink and here we have to select the form and click on this ok done when you click on this form it will take you to this form sheet now we have to hide these things so select this all and right click here you can select the hide and go to the data go to the view and off this grid line now type here the name select this gender here address qualification select the qualification master previous of and type here email when you click on this solve save the data will be saved and when you click on this clear all the text box and the combo box will be cleared and you will be ready to enter the another data this is the complete tutorial of automated data entry form and we haven't used any vba code this is from my side i have explained all the things in this video if you still have any problem let me know in the comment sections if you have any excel related work directly message on my instagram i have placed a link in the description thank you for watching my videos